Sheet models are a convenient way of defining a print sheet in MicroStation, helping to automate the printing of designs. Printing from a sheet model offers many benefits not found when printing from design or drawing models, such as an automatic identification of the printable area in the sheet. So let's jump into MicroStation where we are going to configure and print the floor plan sheet for the project. Here we are inside of MicroStation, and we have the floor plan DGN file open. This can be found in the 10 Printing and Publishing folder. Observe that the active model is a sheet model. Sheet models are typically used for printing a design. Take note, printing may be done from any model type, design, drawing, or sheet, at a scale, or at one-to-one. -one. Although sheet models are not required for printing workflows, there are many benefits of using them some of which you will see in a few moments. As we begin here, our first task is that we'll be reviewing model properties. So let's open up the models dialog. And then from here, we'll select the model floor plan. From the models dialog, we'll pick edit model properties. In the properties dialog, we'll locate the sheet panel. Observe the sheet size is set to ISO A0. From here, we'll review the remaining sheet properties. And then we can close the properties and the models dialog. And now we're ready to print the sheet. So from the quick access toolbar, we'll click the print icon. Within the print dialog, observe the area setting. Area was automatically set to sheet. This is due to the active model being a sheet model. When working with sheet models, it is not necessary to place a fence. MicroStation automatically recognizes the sheet model and, as such, sets the area to sheet. In the printer and paper size, from the drop down menu, we're going to verify that the active printer is set to building PDF. Observe the paper size. The paper size also recognizes that the model being printed is a sheet model, and the paper size is set to match it. In this case, ISO A0. Observe the print scale. The scale is currently set at 25.4. The sheet model also assists in setting the scale automatically. In the print dialog, next to scale, let's go ahead and click the dot 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 symbol to open the scale assistant. The scale can be verified by using the scale assistant. As can be seen, the scale is currently set to one inch on the paper is equal to 25.4 master units in the design. With the working units in the file set as millimeters, this means that one inch on the paper is equal to 25.4 millimeters in the design, or a print scale of one to 25.4. This reflects the conversion factor for millimeters to inches. The benefits of using sheet models can clearly be seen. Sheet models offer additional benefits such as sheet indexing as well. Now from here, we'll click cancel. And now we're going to be editing a printer driver configuration file. So from the print dialog, we'll click file, then edit printer driver configuration. In the base properties tab, we'll set the following. For general, we'll set automatic open plot file after creation to true. In driver properties, we'll enable optional content. These changes to the printer driver configuration file will allow MicroStation to automatically open the printed PDF file after a print is generated and will display optional content within the PDF. Optional content is in the form of file and level information. When the PDF is viewed in a PDF viewer, files and levels may be manipulated. In other words, levels may be turned on or off. So now let's save the changes and close the printer driver configuration dialog. Take note, the original printer configuration file is held in memory while the print dialog is open and must be reloaded for the changes to take effect. In the print dialog, we're going to now click file, then reload printer driver configuration. The driver has now been reloaded and changes applied.
So now let's navigate the view to the lower left corner of the sheet border, locating the text here. These pieces of text have been formatted specifically for the use with text substitution features associated with pen tables. A pen table is used to re-symbolize a design file when a print is performed without altering the design graphics. When a print is performed with a pen table attached, re-symbolization in the pen table is processed and applied to the print that is being generated. A pen table can be used to alter the appearance of geometry by changing color, line style, or line weight, reprioritize the display of elements, such as bringing to front or sending to back, perform text substitutions, and more. In the print dialog, we're now going to click Browse to open the Select Pen Table File browser. From here, we'll open the Building Sheet TBL file. The print has now been configured and is ready for processing. So, from the print dialog, we're going to now click Print. Here, we'll name the PDF file floorplan.pdf. We'll browse to the out folder within the course data set. And then we'll click Save. The resulting PDF file is opened, displaying the printed output. During this lesson, you learned how to view sheet model properties, edit a printer configuration file, and attach a pen table. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.